All right, this is my parting shot to all my friends in town this week from Nebraska. We're willing to babysit all you crybabies one final time at the Big 12 tournament. But this is it. The last time we're going to do it. No more Nebraska. No more Colorado. Big 10, they're all yours. And you won't have a problem with Colorado. I can tell you that right now because no one really cares about the Buffaloes, not even in their own state. They're contented to be in that cozy little hideaway at the foot of the Rocky Mountains. They could care less about basketball in Boulder. They treat it like an intramural sport. They'd rather go hiking in the mountains. As for Nebraska, Doc Sadler might have saved hoops in Nubland. He's a good man, but I still can't figure out why any decent coach would want to wind up there. Well, yes, I can. Sadler wanted the Missouri job, but had to settle for the one in Lincoln, waiting for something to pop open, and it has. There's talk around the Sprint Center this week that Sadler could end up at Texas Tech. He spent some time at UTEP and is really well-liked in Texas. Anyhow, you'll be able to spot these Nebraska fans at least a block away from the P&L district. They roam the streets in packs. And I'll give them this, they travel well and they support their teams. The bars and restaurants are happy to have these corn heads hanging around this week. They eat like a bunch of horses and they like their booze. They'll drop some heavy coin around town and they'll spend some money in the casinos. About midnight in the Power and Light District, there will be no mistake in their identity. They will be loud, they will be obnoxious, and they'll be wearing those putrid red hoodies. And for anyone who will listen, they won't be shy in letting you know that their school is much better than yours. It's not just sports. They think they're the Harvard of the Midwest. I think some of them might have a little KU blood in them. You know what? Maybe we should make an effort to accommodate them this week. With that said, I certainly wouldn't go out of my way to give them the time of day. But it's probably a good idea to grant them the right of way in a crosswalk. So long, all you nubbers. We wish you well in the Big Ten. That's Jack Smack.